Hello YouTube. Right, um, obviously gold at the beginning of December reached a high of 12.15 and uh, since then it's dropped down steadily to just below 1100 now. I'm sure many people um, who have, have bought into gold a bit later in the day will be thinking that maybe they've made a mistake uh, and that they should have uh, invested their cash into something else. Well, just to give you a comparison here, uh, in the Daily Crooks, a chap named Richard Russell uh, has written an article entitled The Only Thing You know, Need to Know About Gold and the Stock Market. Now I'll read it to you because it's actually fairly short. Uh, <clears throat> it is easy to be deceived by the near-term picture. By that I mean it is easy to lose perspective when you are struggling with the daily and even the weekly market action. Over the long term, the fundamental picture will often reveal itself. For instance, consider this. In January 2000, the Dow was selling for just over 11000 At the same time, gold was selling for about $280 an ounce. Today, the Dow is selling for around 10500 actually below its year 2000 price. Gold is selling for over 1100 four times its year 2000 price. So what does that tell us? Gold has represented the standard for wealth for over 5000 years. Consequently, the above tells us that the Dow and the stock market have failed cons to conserve our wealth. It tells us something else. Since the year 2000, the Fed, the Know Nothings, and many analysts have been badmouthing gold, which some still call the barbaric relic. In the face of all the badmouthing, how is it that gold has risen from 280 to 1100? Clearly, some investors have been buying the precious metal, all the while ignoring the nonsense spewed by the anti gold elements. Uh, I just thought he made a good point there that uh, no matter what these uh, gold bad mouthers have been saying that uh, gold's outperformed almost everything in the last 10 years alright then uh, happy new year speak to you later bye bye